had a great time photographing this property. And maybe you've even seen some of the photographs of it. It's 77 Morningside Drive South in Westport. And um, it was really, um, it was a great day. So I got done and it was a long day because we shot from the morning, we shot right through to, to the evening. We got twilights and, and evening shots and the homeowners weren't home uh, as we try to have houses empty when we're shooting so that we're as safe as possible. And when the homeowners, just before the homeowners came back and I was packing up, I was looking at some photographs that were in the hallway, the main hallway of the house, and there were really fascinating images, these black and white images from the 1930s, 1940s, I'm, I was guessing, and I thought I recognized some of the faces in these uh, photographs. And one of them looked like Frank Lloyd Wright, and it was Frank Lloyd Wright and a couple of other people looking at a model of the Guggenheim Museum. And then there was somebody else, the same woman was in a photograph and it looked like she was with Mark Chagall on the, what was probably the lawn of this property. And another photograph that was her and Solomon Guggenheim and the artist Kandinsky. I thought, oh my God, these, these are really incredible photographs. But I didn't really think too much more about it. So um, the owners came home as I was packing up and, and loading out and I complimented them on what a wonderful home and they started telling me the story of the woman who was this German Baroness who owned this property originally and I'm sorry I gotta say it was been a very long day and I was pretty exhausted so they were telling me the story I was going like yeah okay well that's pretty interesting and and thank you very much and God bless good luck you know so that was it as I was driving home I was thinking about what I was what I had heard and my interest was really peaked. So by, when I did get home, <laughs> as I was editing the photographs, I was switching back and forth between, be, between the editing and trying to look up you know, who was the owner of this property. And I came to find out the most incredible story about the Baroness Hilla von Riebe, who owned this property up until 1967 when she died there. And she was a close friend and the curator and the co-founder of the Guggenheim Museum. She was close with Solomon Guggenheim. And she's credited as changing the world uh, of art by taking Guggenheim's collection from being the old masters to being non-objective contemporary modern art. So she, has, she had a huge influence in the art world. And she had these incredible friends, Chagall, Kandinsky, Rothko, Bauer, and of course Solomon Guggenheim. And when they, she talked with Guggenheim about creating a museum instead of having his works being shown in his townhouse on the Upper uh, East Side. He said, yes, I would love to have a museum. And he said, you know what, I'd love to have Frank Lloyd Wright design the museum. And she said, well, you know, coincidentally, I know him, I'm going to reach out to him, which is exactly what she did. And she actually gave Frank Lloyd Wright the architectural brief for what the museum would look like, and he took it and created what we now know as the Guggenheim Museum. And in uh, stories about the Guggenheim, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright actually credited uh, Hilla von Riebe for uh, creating the brief of the, uh, of the Guggenheim Museum. So that was really an amazing proposition. That's not the end of it. After I posted some photographs, the, a friend of mine uh, who's a a major influence in the uh, interior design and architectural world and who heads up a luxury uh, international marketing firm reached out to me and said, hey, I saw your photographs, they're really fantastic. By the way, I happen to be friends with and know Frank Lloyd Wright's granddaughter and I'm sure she'd be interested in talking with you further. I was like, yeah, okay, great, fine, whatever. So, lo and behold, several days later, here's an email from Melissa Galt who's a luminary in the world of interior design, saying, Alan, hi, how are you? Saw the photographs, looked at your work, love to get together with you. She's at High Point right now, High Point Market. And we're going to get together in a virtual Zoom meeting next week. Looking forward to that. And that's what came out of this photo shoot. And my newfound reappreciation for the architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright, who I've been studying further, and for the artists Kandinsky and Rothko and Chagall and uh, Bauer, whose work I've also been uh, reintroducing to myself. 
that's the power of what we have here. That's probably one of the powers of really great about social networks. So thanks very much for, for, for watching and for listening. And as always, I look forward to talking to you the next time.